I have no idea where he was at. Okay, I see one guy up there. Shit. That's the gatehouse. It's a drainage. So it's pretty much right next to there. Okay, makes sense. There. He's coming back. If I can take this guy out and probably put him back over here, I should be gold. Should be coming to my line of sight real soon. Yep. That's just ridiculous. There we go. Stupid there he is. Plague. I need to wait until he goes over here. Bunch of crap. I swear to God, if he sees that dude, you know what? Just in case. Just in case. Let's put this guy right here. The last thing I want is that idiot to see him because he's over here. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Alright, let's save again. Alright, so I need to keep going this way, it looks like, if I want to get the thing. I don't know. It, it might actually be down here in the room now I'm thinking about it. Make sure, put this back on. It's outside, I think, but I don't know where. Right. I see it right there, yeah. God, are you fucking serious? Sorry, buddy. Ninety nights down here. Oh my god. <clears throat> All right. That means it's down here. Okay. That means I have to go down this way. Yeah, it's in the water. It looks like. But I have no idea if the water has. Uh... What the fuck? You see, see what's going on here? It's like pushing me back. Oh, I see. Oh! Okay, okay. Alright. I, I see. So that's another entrance way we can get to. Okay. Let's do it. We'll see. Let's see over this one. I'm going to go down. We get the thing. Yep. 101 found. <laughs> yes! Yes! Get the fuck out of here, you dumb shit. 
No, I'm going to put you in a draining. Yeah, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What's this? Ugh. Terrible fucking quality. I can't even read any of this shit. Got another one of those. this? I can't re I do anything with this. Okay. So far, I've yet to find any, uh, let's see. No, I've yet to find any, uh, charms, which means this is it. This is, uh, this is, you know, I think we've found all of them thus far. I could go all the way up here. Ooh, oh! An overseer. Still crying about that dice game? Please, not now. <coughs> Here, you have a friend. Play with them, rats. God. Oh my god, there's so many fucking security. I cannot believe he was doing all that crap, man. He Look how much security he was here, man. <laughs> he knew he was coming. But he underestimates Corvo so much. It's, un it's so ridiculous. Oh, see, look, even if he came up this way, it wouldn't have mattered. You see? Turn the other way. I have an idea. It's gonna be fucking crazy, but I have an idea. Watch this. This is gonna be good. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm gonna do if he's not turning my way naturally. Fuck him. Instead, I'll force him to turn. That's right, kids. That's how you take care of your problems. Hey, I brought another pal for you guys. Make sure you suck his dick real good. <laughs> uh, lick that shit up real good. Infect him with Lyme's disease. Oh! <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if rats carry Lyme's disease. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Oh, I'm enjoying myself. This is the only thing that matters right now. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Anything here? A oh, value. Before I go upstairs. Let's see. Empty bottle. Don't care. In fact, let's do this. Anything over here? Nope. Did he not see me, dude? That is ridiculous. Here, you know, I'll put this guy down here. Fuck him. Dude, I have no idea how that worked at all. This guy turns a little quicker, though, I think. So, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before I try this. Or not. <laughs> Alright. One by one, the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> I'm taking out all the guards. You see, these are the type of games I love the most. Stealth takedowns. Not being seen. The pacifist side is more of a side effect of being a pacifist, but 
or being stealth, but that's kind of what my name is. My name is Stealth Blade. You know, I'm I'm always I always love the stealth portion. <clears throat> so I always like the idea of stealth and not being seen. I always like that. I mean, it, it has a certain charm to it that you don't find it anywhere else. Okay. Yeah, this is the way I found the other guy I put down here. Let's see. Anything over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. What about this? Empty bottle. I can see the courtyard from there, or whatever it's fucking called. I'm getting closer. Wait a minute. In fact, could I, like, blink over there? Hold on a minute. No, I'm too far away, I think. There's not many enemies over here. It doesn't look like it any, at any rate. I'm gonna quickly save it again, just in case. You never know. Because sometimes five, six, seven guys comes out of nowhere. You know. I actually am curious how DSP handled all this. Because knowing him, he'll probably just run and gun his way. Pass everything. Bypass this. <laughs> oh god no, wait a minute. There has to be an alternate way I can do this. Wait, right there! That's it! Right there, wait, wait, wait. If I, if I can get if I can blink over there. There, do you think? The new Empress? She came in a few days ago, but she keeps to herself. Must be a shock. I wonder what she's like. Just a kid, I guess. Imagine being a kid. Then suddenly, they tell you in a few years, you'll rule the Empire. What do you do? Me? Settle a few scores, I guess. Then order some pastries from that shop on Clavering. Lots of them. Perfect. Let's save. <clears throat> Let's save. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't have planned this better myself. Cool. So there's a whole bunch of guys there. I couldn't have taken. I could have, but but the pylon was there. So instead, I had to be a little more crafty. Shit. This is not good. This fucker's over here. I might be able to get lucky. Let's see. <laughs> My God, I can't believe I bl blinked my way past this part. This guy's still fucking coming. Are you serious? Can I like double back? Yeah, I might be able to double back here. <laughs> See ya. There we go. Lighthouse key. That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> cool, buddy. <laughs> Sweetness, brah. Wow, I can't believe I did it, man. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I blunked twice over there. No one even saw me. Oh, man. It makes me want to redo some portions of the game. I tried to blink multiple times to get past where I need to go. Okay. Shit. Is this guy going to come this way? 
kind of just kept going up, it looks like. He went back down, okay. Okay, let's save again. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, this might be it. This might be the final episode. The final part. We did it! No one saw us! I don't think anyone saw us. There was a few times where I fucked up, but honestly, I think I did it perfectly. I was unseen. I was a ghost there. <clears throat> now. Rescue Emily. Oh my god. Now what? There has to be one more rune in this area, or at least one more, uh, or at least- Oh no, wait a minute. Yeah, there has to be at least one charm. Lighthouse? No. There's nothing. This is a massive fucking lighthouse. Look at this shit. Holy fuck. Well, I am not taking any chances. I'm saving again right here. Not taking any chances. We're doing this. Save again. I saved a whole bunch of trank darts just in case. Gosh, this guy's well, but I don't know who else is back here though. There's another guy. Yeah, see, if I would have tranked him, he would have been notified instantly. Oh, wait. I'll trank this guy first, and I'm gonna go up and deal with him. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Yes, of course. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Two down, and how many more to go? The question is, how am I going to save Emily and escape without being seen? Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this! <laughs> Saw that? What the hell? What the hell was break dancing? It's like I caught in the fucking stairs. That's awesome. <laughs> well, let's save again. Like I said, every success I need to save. That is the key to every RPG I've ever played when I was a kid. It's a formula that always works, and I'm sticking to it no matter what. But I just wasted two darts, which sucks. Is coming up. There's nothing else here. Let's see. What's going on there? Oh, that's fucking. You see what I mean? You see, see, that doesn't make sense. That I'm like right next to the guy. No, I I press the sleep button and then he turns for for a split second and it affects the thing and I block. <clears throat> This is why I feel the block the the knockout button should not be tied to the block button. It's just silly in my opinion. Why is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Oh my 
<laughs> that was just me being impatient. That's my fault. I should have known better. I should have waited. I should have double checked and waited before going up. I thought he was just already going to be there. Maybe when you reload, the game resets where they're going to be and where they're coming from, I'm guessing. I'm just shooting off the hip with that comment. I could be wrong. Let's try this again. Let's wait. Let's see. That's weird. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Fool me once. Same on you. Fool me twice. Well, actually, no. I don't think. Wait, does that make sense in this context? Maybe not. Maybe I. I, I completely. I'm a fucking idiot. So that, that that shouldn't apply here. I'm just. That was just stupid. So instead, it's time for me to reverse this. Just fucking blink. Piece of shit. Well, there was no point doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Could I, like... Huh. I'm just gonna take out every single guard that's up here. I, I don't care. <clears throat> <clears throat> Every one of these fucks are gonna get their ass beat. In fact, I could just chuck his ass down here if I want, but that wouldn't be really cool. There. <laughs> yes, 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 and you're right again. I will indeed do this. All this just to get save Emma, Emma, Emily. I like, I want to see something. Wow. What's in here? Huh. Wow, look at this place. Check this out. I guess I can't do that. I mean, it's cool that I did it, but it looks like I screwed up. No matter. I'll just jump down right here. Yep. Oh, I see. This is where you were supposed to go, I guess. Get access to this. Remember when this was just a dream shared by a few angry people in that room of ours? Lord Trevor Pendleton, neglected youngest son, bullied by your mother. Martin, such a clever, with talents wasted until he found fate. Callista, the nursemaid, bitter Pierre, rejected from the academy. Samuel, the useless old man. Hungry for purpose. Couldn't be me this time. This is all Martin's fault. We hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison. 
Cormo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy, afraid. If always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me, just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. I'm lacking a counter -move. It's all fallen apart. All the stuff that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea. Took command of a ship and made aimless men into sailors. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. And I showed the world what matter. Will and vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with the world. It'll make a good story for the history. I'll have a good epitaph. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer, and an empress. The man who brought down a title, Admiral Hammond, son of the High Ocean. It's Emily. <coughs> That's Pendleton, and that must be Martin. But the question is, what's this? And why does Pendleton look like he's been drugged? Or knocked out? They both look like they're, like, unconscious. Let's see. He's dead! Oh my god, he killed him! What the fuck? Oh! Martin's dead! Is that a griffin? What the fuck is this? Oh! What the fuck? No way! It's a wolf or a dog? Look! He's dead! But, wow! What the fuck happened? I'm gonna bring these two up, so I just bypass the whole portion of their level. <laughs> Alright. He killed both of them. And he waited for me. So he- so wait, so... He killed me- no, so he killed these two, waited for me, underestimated my abilities completely, I like always. Wow, dude, you know what? Well, fuck this. I'm gonna make a. I'm saving right now. Let's see, what's this? Uh. I'm not, I know I probably auto saved already. Fuck it, I'm not gonna bother. What's this? Let's see. Eliminate. Admiral Havelock. Should I bother to eliminate them? It's optional. I was just I was gonna spare all of them, but But since he already killed the other two, fuck it. I'm just gonna kill him. What a dick. Fuck it, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Fuck it. I can't. Who is that? Admiral 
Havelock? If you don't let me out, I'm going to make you stand in a corner until you learn how to behave. Corvo? Who's there? Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? Yes! That's it! Yes! Didn't kill anyone! Ghost never detected! Yes! Wow, I skipped the entire portion of this fucking level, dude. <laughs> Rescued Emily. Did not kill Havelock. Fuck. You know what? I was tempted. I was like, you know what? I was gonna do it. I said, you know what? I'm gonna show mercy. He may have tried to kill me, but I'm gonna be the bigger man here. Let's do it. The end. Oh boy, it's not over yet? Oh boy. What now? So ends the interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin the first will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. Just like her mother would have wanted. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age, brought about by your hand. Nice! Yes! Callista! But how did he escape, though? What the hell's going on? Oh, that's the pub. In decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb. Because you are more to her than royal protector. You were her father. Farewell, Corvo. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense! In the second game, you play as Corvo as an option. Wow, man, what a great game. This game had it all, man. It was just like Deus Ex. <clears throat> what an amazing thing. Okay, I need to lower this music down because I'm going to get copyright. Alright, I'm going to mute this music right now. Alright, so I, I have to say this right now. This game was really fun. Uh, I like the abilities of the blink. I like the abilities where you can like pacify enemies. Use the stu use the the trank dart or or you know yeah the, the trank dart but it was on an arrow. Um, I like the whole idea of abilities and how you had the option of going crazy and start killing everyone in your path, or you found other methods of dealing with enemies. I did kill the torturer uh, because he was already batshit crazy to begin with. I didn't kill everyone. So not only did I spare Dowd, okay, after everything he did to the Queen, I spared Admiral Havelock, even though he killed Pendleton and he killed Martin. Or they killed themselves, maybe, maybe, maybe they just couldn't deal with the fact. But I spared both of them. I, I spared both Dowd and Havelock because the way, the way I f see it, should I even put myself in the same category as Dowd killing someone? And he regretted that decision wholeheartedly. He said, I wish I can go back in time or give all the money I've taken to, to not kill the queen. No one should ever kill a queen. So, or the empress. So, he was actually kind of, uh, um, he, he thought back and said, wow, I, I can't believe I did this. This is not right. I, no one should ever be able to do it. You heard that, right? Actually, you know what? I fucked up because I didn't even listen to what that thing was saying. I probably should have. I probably got more lore out of it. Probably would have figured out more about the game than I didn't. So I fucked up, but... You know. Granny Rags, Susan Sarandon... Oh my gosh, she voiced Granny Rags? Oh my... Carrie Fisher... Oh no, Carrie. Brad Dorf, of course, is Piero, of course. Wow, a lot of people... Wow, a lot of people I recognize here. That's pretty cool. So, honestly, I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite games I've ever bought. Uh, the whole Dishonored thing always intrigued me from, the, from what I've heard about you can play stealth and have abilities, but I didn't really know much about Dishonored until I played this game. So, 
Dishonored was a really good game. There's obviously DLCs accompanying with Dishonored. There's one with Dow. There's one with other things that gives you insanely powerful, uh, uh, excuse me, insanely powerful, uh, uh, bone charms, but at the exact same time, it also gives you negatives, which I find really cool. You know, it's something different, like a, like a positive and negative. It's, it makes sense for a balance, right? So... There's still two of those I can do since I bought the Game of the Year edition for this. This came for the PS4. I also got Watch Dogs, like I said, as you guys know. Um, I also I'm probably gonna be playing that too after I take a short break. Of the, after I take a short break, uh, I'll probably switch over to that and start the DLC on that one because I'm actually itching to actually get Watch Dogs 2 at some point. Unfortunately, Watch Dogs 2 is like 60 bucks on the PlayStation Store. It doesn't have a Game of Year edition. I and a lot of the other things are still expensive as fuck. So I heard Watch Dogs 2 supposedly is a better game than than the original. And I love the original. So if that's the case, I'm going to be really ecstatic. It's just, unfortunately, Adrian Pierce is not the main protagonist. It's this other guy. So, and he's African American. Which, by the way, I don't mind. I actually, li I actually like all sorts of different characters. It could be purple, green. It doesn't matter what color he is. I actually think any character, as long as the story is good, I would really appreciate the type of story they were going for. I would have liked more of a character customization or character creation for uh, Watch Dogs 2. Uh, I thought that would be a little make more sense. Have like a brand new, have a, create some own guy with preset voices, almost like in a way of Dragon Age. You know how you make your own character, have like preset voices. It's it's all right, but something like Dragon Age Inquisition where it has like a whole like two different people voiced the same lines. Like Dragon Age Inquisition, by the way, guys, is one of my is one of the best Dragon Age games ever. I think it's better than their Origins in a lot of ways. The open world aspect, fighting tons of dragons, you know, all this stuff. That's really sweet. Sweet, but I'm getting off the beaten path here. Uh, there's just so much I probably didn't get a chance to do, and I like the fact that if you go crazy killing, you raise the chaos meter so much where it affects the ending. I think by having high chaos and you killing enemies, there's going to be more... Um, if I remember, it's going to be more um, enemies who are like uh, kind of like how we... Uh, the zombie enemies, I forget the name of them. Um, there are going to be more zombie enemies if you kill them. There's going to be more chaos. Obviously, there's going to be more mm, armed guards and plowing in certain places. It's not going to be as easy going. It's, it's more of it's more dangerous version doing it that way than it is doing it the way I did it, which is methodical, plan things out, trial and error. If I fuck up, reload, try again, try a different path. If I screw up again, again, try it again. Try to make sure you, like, um, to just do different methods. Sometimes I did the same thing twice, and it didn't pan out. But other other times, I tried something else. I darted one dude while I went down there and took care of the other guy. You know, all that stuff is just so cool. And, you know, I, while I did accidentally kill a couple people, which triggered the whole other thing. I actually helping Granny Rags poison the uh, the vat for uh, uh, for her thing in the beginning caused a chaos, which I think six more people ended up dying because of it. And the chaos got up, but my chaos was incredibly low. So it's really cool how the this ending portrays Corvo as dying, which makes no sense because I remember looking online and it said you can play as Corvo or Emily in the in the second game. Although I think in a lot of ways, canon-wise, it probably makes more sense that you play as Emily first because of the ending to this game. Now, this could just be a theoretical or possible ending to the storyline. Like, after decades go by and your hair grows white and go old, you lay down to you lay down with uh, the Purious Queen because I think in a lot of ways, Emily ever saw you as a father figure. You know, and I think the game alludes in several pa pathways, or like with audio logs and other th notes that that Corvo to uh, uh, what the fuck was her name? Um, uh, Casa something. Uh, it wasn't Cassandra. What the fuck was her name? Shit, I completely forgot. Let's see. So, all right, let's see. 
Uh, I forgot her name. Jessamine? I think it was Ch was it Kes was it Jessamine? I swear to God, I don't remember the name uh, of the person. And why is it taking so long to fucking do? Seriously. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Court, no. Crowley, no. Sewers, no. God damn it. Okay, hold on. I'll just go. I'll, I'll go here and I'll switch. Um... No. I'm like Caldwin, okay. Yeah, it's Jessamine Cald Caldwin. I think Jessamine considered Corvo as her husband. Yeah, see, look, I, I see passes. She charges Corvo to well, with the safe return and protection of her beloved daughter. Her body and circumstances are later used to charge Corvo with treason, kidnapping, murder. Yeah, but we already knew that. Uh, let's see here. See, Jessamine maintained a close relationship with Corvo, and the two became lovers at the second day of the month of rain. While the relationship was kept secret and rumors about it were prevalent throughout Dunwall, the disgust along with the fact that Jessamine never married have resulted in speculation that Emily was born of the affair. So technically speaking, it says right there, well, I don't know how well this wiki is accurate, it could be wrong, but this is suggesting that Corvo and Jessamine was actually, um, you know, lovers, and they were, you know, and, and Emily was more of her father, which I think Emily secretly knew at some point, because Emily in this game was 10 years old, and Dar Dishonored 2 takes place 10 years afterwards, which means the ending to this is just a theoretical and just what would happen if, if Corvo did die. So she was 20 when this happened, because in Dishonored 2, yeah, Dishonored 2, she looks fucking badass, honestly. She looks fucking g amazing. Let's see. Uh, so if they show what Corvo looks like in Dishonored One, Dishonored Two, he looks even older. That means if it's so, if he was thirty nine, Dishonored Two says he was fifty four, which makes this. Wait a minute. If that was the case, and that was thirteen years after, no. No, wait, no, 15 years. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. That doesn't make sense, though. Why Why would the game say that? Oh, okay, so I'm wrong. It wasn't 10. It was 15 years after. Okay, because she's 25 in Dishonored 2. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let me see. Does it say... Oh, look! Oh, wait a minute, look! This is fucking cool! Yeah, 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 yeah! This is what I'm talking about! Look, remember when I said that um, Emily was held hostage and you had to defeat the other person? So, this only happens in High Chaos, because it says it right here. In High Chaos, Kovo finds Havelock and Emily atop a catwalk at the highest point of the lighthouse. When Kovo approaches, Havelock grabs Emily and threatens to jump. Kovo must stop Havelock before he jumps or Emily will perish. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What's going on here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Well, that's it. Hold on a minute. Actually, I want to go back and do something for a quick second. Auto save the end. Auto save at the end of the lighthouse. Let's do this for a second. I, I want to do something really quick. I want to see what the other audio log said before I end this video. Uh, since I already beat the game, there's no point in, in, no point in playing through all this stuff. I think this auto saved right at the point where I got to that door. The leader Yep. Remember when this was just a dream shared by a few angry, desperate men in the back of the bar? Lord Trevor Pendleton, neglected your new son, bullied by your brother. Fuck off, Emily. 
I'll throw your ass to grass. Shut up. I've done such things, cowardly things, and I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. Huh. Oh my god, a massive fucking log. Okay, I'm gonna quickly read this since this is the last video. We could not have done any of this without Corvo, and for that I will be grateful. But I fear he will, I fear he did not have the vision to see the future we must achieve for Dunwall. We will not maintain our grip on the Empire with a little girl sing, uh, setting policy. And I believe Corvo loyalty to Caldwin woman to, to the Caldwin woman would have clouded his head. Is, is she truly his daughter? We will take Dunwall to the pinnacle of strength, but Corvo role in this cannot be recognized. Cannot ever be recognized. He must be vilified, and when I take the reins of the city of the Empire, I will be seen as a hero and protector. Havelock Log six uh, entry six. Until we get through all this and hold the coronation, nothing's certain. Dunwall Tower has got its own culture. No telling what could happen if we moved into the place too soon. The next steps must be handled carefully. Things are happening quickly now. I need time to think. Havelock entry five. Teague Martin is now high overseer. He is clever. He's a clever one, and his ideas have taken us very far. Considering where he comes from, he should be very pleased with himself. Now we can now we can be assured that the overseers will support our claims. How, whatever they may be, there's only one man now standing between us and the complete control of the Empire. The Lord Regent will soon find himself staring, staring in that hideous mask of Corvo. Of that, I have no doubt. <clears throat> but what happens after that? Entry 4. Okay. Oh, I see you. It's go. Oh, it's going up like this. Okay. He's returning now with Anton Sokolov in, over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo protect le project lethal force, he can do an extraction like that. I didn't think possible. And soon, the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here together. If I could get these two rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of an unimaginable power. If I could command both of them well, I'll wait and measure the disposition towards one another before following that line of thought. And to three. Pendleton was willing to go farther than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he truly is loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably, undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. Entry 2. Well, it seems that we have investigated the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from office with, of the High Overseer, but he went into the Viper's Nest and sorted out Campbell personally with Corvo and our company I suspect there's no one in the world who cannot touch we are truly committed to this path there's no turning back entry one it has been days since w since our men were dispatched to sass weapons for Corvo in the old sewer they have not returned so I can only hope that they succeed in getting the packages delivered Piero sent considerable time and resources making those things if I can find a way to mass produce them done will, will secure its place at the dominant force of the globe on the globe but back to Corvo can he actually break out of the cold ridge <clears throat> and if so Will he make his way here? I personally give his odds one in five. <clears throat> so this is going in order. And I... So this is what he. This is all that bullshit. Anything else I missed before I go and end it off for today? I don't see anything else. Actually, from a book of naval history, will all these ones, uh, boys come of age? Maybe put my captains track down the infamous pirates who crush a seditious uprising. <laughs> seditious material, full out New Vegas, old world blues, destroy old books. <laughs> Anton Sokol himself, now president of Highston in the Welling Trade. The crews can be seen working on their latest. Ship moves up the river, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's it. That's it for here. I'm just double checking before I, I stop recording. Who is that? Admiral Havelock? If you don't let me out, I'm going to make you stand in a corner until you learn how to behave. Oh, oh shit. Who's there?
No, I've been here already. There was nothing else in here. I'm just trying to see if there's any, uh, things that I missed, like books or logs. There wasn't, look. Alright, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pretty much hour of finale of... Dishonored. It was a great game. It was a really awesome experience. I can't wait to try the DLC at some point. And I'm letting you guys promise right now, I will indeed do... I will indeed do all these. I will do the Bridgemore Witches. I will do the Knee of... The Knife of Dunwall, excuse me. And I will do the Dunwall City Trials. I'm not quite sure what the Trials are. There might be something else. These two looks like they're more of a... DLC. I think that's Dowd and that's something else. This looks fucking cool. I don't know who that is, but this is like some girl trying to kill this other guy. So I'm definitely going to be doing this. I'll definitely do all these uh, DLC before I jump into Dishonored 2 for sure. Uh, but right now I'm calling it for today and I'll be going directly to start playing Watch Dogs, the DLC. Uh, involving 10 new missions of T-Bone and other things that they have. But until then guys, I just hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed all this. These are all the missions I've done up until this point. Mission stats, let's see. If I really wanted to, let, let me see. Oh, I see, yeah, I did miss a rune here. And I, and I didn't get all the paintings. I found all the bone charms up until this point, it looks like. Yeah, look. Yeah, I look, I found almost all of them. See, this is another one I wasn't detected either. I was apparently detected here for some reason. So this is like nine missions. That's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, I found the old bone charms, but there was no, um, there was no, uh, current total low. There was no, uh, trophy for it. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough and peace out.